Yeah, I love Manchester campaign was a, a reaction to the riots that had taken place on the on the Tuesday. Um, uh, if I tell you that, uh, it, it, I think a lot of people thought we must have had that campaign up our sleeves and must have been ready to, to, to actually sort of go with it. Um, but in fact, what had happened was uh, we came down to see the, the, the clean up. So a member of the public had via Twitter organised a, a sort of a mass clean up for Manchester. We came down to actually look at that and see if there was anything we could do to help. And whilst I was there, I noticed that a lot of people or some people had come along wearing I Love Manchester t-shirts. Um, there was also a face painter there who was painting hearts on people's faces with Manchester on the other cheek. I noticed about 200, 250 absolutely wonderful volunteers carrying brooms, buckets, dustpans, etc. The volunteers that were coming to, to tidy the, the city up. It was one of the most evocative moments uh, I've seen from the devastation of the night before to see the response of the public coming in and saying, we are going to take our city back. And indeed they did. It sort of occurred to us, if people will spontaneously do that, if people will, because they're looking for a way of saying they love their city, if they'll spontaneously do that, what would they actually do that if you provided them with a vehicle? What would they actually do if you said, this is your opportunity to tell people why you love Manchester and why Manchester is such a great place? On the Wednesday, we got two effects. We got one was the public saying, I'm not coming into Manchester. We've got staff of the offices and shops Oh uh, yeah, a little petrified, a little scared, right, but saying, no, we're going to come back in. And then we've got a lot of Mancunians who say, we are going to fight this. However, we lost about 50% of our business on, on that Wednesday. There was a catastrophic drop in confidence and trading activity in the city centre. Understandably, as people were fearful, a lot of shop owners thought the hooligans and the rioters were going to come back a second and a third night. So that week was a very, very important to get Manchester back working, to get confidence back in the city. The campaign went live on the Thursday, so uh, 48 hours after, after the, the writing on the Tuesday. It was a core group of stakeholders who worked together on the campaign. You know, obviously uh, Marketing Manchester, obviously Manchester City Council, and so then obviously working with um, City Co. And uh, I think one of the, the fantastic things was the way um, businesses within Manchester threw themselves behind it. A few days later, Marketing Manchester came up with the view of having a three-week campaign. Two weeks of the I Love Manchester campaign and the final week of Manchester Loves You. That was galvanising. Then other major players came on board. So, uh, you know, uh, clearly very visibly the cooperative came on board, Brumpwood, Manchester Airport, um, and then wider stakeholders such as um, NCP car parks, uh, uh, the, the travel and transport by providing you know, free travel and transport. If one believes that, 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 that social media played a part in the organisation of the riots in the first place, without a doubt, um, you know, in, you know, people used social media to, to help organise their own response to it and you know, the campaign for us, uh, with limited budgets, the campaign was always going to have a very, very strong life through social media. We use our own social media channels already, so our own Facebook sites and social media channels, other partners in the campaign, so the City Council, Manchester Arndale and other people started to push out the um, Facebook site as well and obviously we had a lot of support from outdoor providers so all of the posters and everything that went up around the city um, in the shop windows and everywhere was pushing people to uh, the Facebook page. And it just really took off, people started uh, you know, coming to the site, liking the site, posting to it, answering each other's questions, um, people from Manchester but also from the rest of the world. So it was a really positive, um, you know, positive element of the campaign for us. There had been some damage done to UK PLC's reputation already. For us, uh, it was the fact that on the Tuesday the focus became very much about Manchester. The media picked up on it really quickly, um, obviously because they had so much focus on the city and the cities around the UK during the disturbances, actually trying to look at what those positive outcomes of that were and you know, picking up on the pictures of people with brooms, it was the accessory to have the day after in, in Manchester. Of 
course, we had those terrible events, the riots on the Tuesday, and we realised that if we were going to do anything to provide people with an opportunity um, to, to respond to those, um, it had to be quick. And so uh, if, if we didn't have something up and running within 24 or 48 hours, um, well then actually it was yesterday's news and there was no chance to turn some of that negativity into a, a positive. Mm -hmm.